So, Dr. Kraftchik, you're participating in the Poor Seminarian's Cook-Off tonight. Very excited to be part of this uh, complicated recipe. Wonderful. Sa Santa Fe soup. Great. So, what's in it? Uh, that's a good question. There are uh, black beans, pinto beans, diced tomatoes, chilies, some other kinds of beans, and ground beef or ground turkey. Well, I love beans. You know, Mennonites love beans. Did you cook the beans yourself? Cook, cook could be a strong verb. I don't, um, no, no, I didn't cook the beans myself. But, but you picked them out at the grocery store. You decided which, which cans of beans you were gonna, you were gonna put in the soup. I wouldn't be that bold to say that. I, um, I was aware that there were beans uh -huh. and that they would come from the grocery store. Okay, so you were there though, pushing the cart and and uh, accompanying the shopper. In a spiritual sense, I was there. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I was present physically, but I think in a kind of Pauline, I'll be there in the spirit way I was there. Pauline, epistle writing, like grocery shopping, like grocery list. You wrote the list to decide what would go in the No, suit? I wasn't allowed to write the list, <laughs> but I was shown the list uh -huh. before the person who bought the beans at the store okay. pushing the cart okay. left. So you opened the cans of beans. Yes, I did, yes. and I want to say that that is a task not for the faint-hearted. Indeed. Um, it's a skill. Uh-huh. What, what approach did you use? I, I approached the thumb-down lock on oh. the can opener. Oh. But you have to be careful the way in which you turn carpal the... Carpal tunnel, right? Carpal tunnel, exactly. Really so, can set in. Uh, four or five cans is the max you can do in an afternoon, I think. Okay. Safely. Okay. Well... Thank God for your uh, bean opening skills. Yeah, I like to think of myself as a sous chef. Uh-huh. Um, or sued. <laughs> sous <laughs> Dr. Kravchik, ladies and gentlemen. Vote for the Santa Fe soup. <laughs> <laughs>